Right, hi there guys, it's Tony from Wet Lines again. I'm going to do a quick tutorial, don't know about quick, but I'm going to do a tutorial of my setup I use for um, surface fishing. So I'm going to sh quickly show you all the bits and bobs that you need for this. Alright, I have a lighter, I have a 12mm pop up, I have a size 8 swivel, anti tangle sleeve, pair of scissors some hook link, controller, line which floats which is handy because I'm doing surface fishing I have size 10 mixer, mixer B, barbless, some boily stoppers, the Nash 30 gram controller float and a baiting needle. Right I'll show you how to put this all together. Right so here we go. First of all you get your controller float You, you feed the controller float onto your main line. So here we go, we're going for it. Come on, where are you? Here it comes. And in there, that beautiful. And it wouldn't come through straight away, so I just popped off the the rubber casing that housed the swivel. So I just pop that off and then it just comes straight through. So I push I put the line through there as well. Like so, there we go. It's on, and then we'll just pop that through, pop that back in there again, like so. Right, so next, next we put the size 8 swivel onto the main line. So we put swivel on there. So what we do is we do a five turn blood knot. So one, two, three, four, five. And we pop the tag end through the first the first loop. So there we go. There we have it. Um, moist, moist the knot up a bit. Like so, and then we can put it nice and tight. And pull the knot down with your thumbnail a bit, and there we have it. It's on there, nice, nice and tight. Cut the tag end off. Just to neat, neat it all up a little bit better. So there you have it. So the next stage is the next stage is we take our controller line and we pull off about two to three foot length scissors. And cut that off like so. Okay. So next step is you make a loop. Make a loop, and basically you're doing it's like a granny knot, but you're doing it with the um, the loop. So it's all bent over like so, and then. Put it through back on itself. Moist the knot. And then you can put it nice and tight. The 
back side of your scissors so okay and cut the tag end off and there you have it what I do next is I put the boilie on push the your needle through so get yourself a boily stopper okay all nice and through there pop it in in the loop put it tight and there you have it just so my next my next stage is get myself my hooks so so I'll get my um boily so I'll pop the line through back end the back end of the eye pull that all the way through right down to the boilie okay so now I like to have the boilie as close to the hook as possible because you just want the hook sitting underneath the boilie so when fish come along it should just snag them straight away so right we do and this it's the knotless knot so you just do five turns You back through the back of the eye and put it through. Like so, and there we have it. Hook just sitting underneath such so floats, top of the water, and you got the hook just sitting underneath it, ready to snag yourself. Hopefully, a nice double figure carp. So the next stage is, is I slide on, I slide on my anti-tangle sleeve in the end there. Let's go through one, you go through. There we go. Through we go. Beautiful. And then we tie this line straight on to the size eight swivel. So again, the five turn bud knot. One, two, three, four, five. At the tag end, back through the first loop by the swivel like so there we have it moist the line and put it tight we can grab the tag in with your teeth pull it down a bit and thumbnail the knot nice nice and tight down to the swivel there you have it Cut the tag end off. I like to leave a little bit of a um, little bit of the tag end because I like to blob my up the tag down with a lighter. But be careful that you don't burn 
your main hook link line because it's just going to snap off otherwise so yeah just a little bob there we go that's nice just peace of mind i don't like the knot the, the tag end to slip out of the knot makes me feel more comfortable when it's in the water so we will pull the hook into the housing the controller we pull the anti-tangle sleeve all the way up to the size 8 swivel and pop that over there like so now we have it so hopefully when you cast out it's just going to push this line away from the float you don't want it to um, keep tangling and wrapping, wrapping around so there you have it people and your main line I've got braided on the main line got my controller the anti tangle sleeve the size 8 swivel pushed in there nicely and all the way down cut two three foot line and there you have the business end hopefully you land yourself land yourself a load of nice carp so there you go guys i hope that's enough information to help you with your um surface fishing and um bag yourself some nice looking carp right well that's me done so um tune in again and remember keep those lines wet